everybody and welcome to the first ever video hosted in the Rogan Wolf YouTube channel. This is a big thing, it's kind of different and I really like the idea. They so kindly invited me to be the first person to be featured in a hosted video and of course I fucking said uh, yes. So this is the look that I created for this first video. I've been having many questions from all of you asking me how the fuck do I do a sharp eyeliner stuff like that so I thought it'd be cool to show you all together with Rogan Wolf because you know Rogan Wolf is about being extreme and about being edgy and I think this look is 100% fucking edgy because it's fucking striking you could cut a throw with this wing so just fucking go for it go big or go home if you want to know how I fucking got to this shit then just keep on watching also Get ready because there's gonna be a shocking difference of the before and after so the next clip is probably gonna be me without anything on and I'm having really bad breakouts so just fucking get ready so before anything I've already primed my skin and I'm gonna start by covering dark circles and the breakouts that I have for that I use the Captain D Locket foundation in light 44 and I'm gonna mix it with the Manic Manic Green Tone in white. They're both cruelty free and vegan. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it to this for now. And I'm gonna start by doing the eyes first and then I'll do the rest of the face. So firstly I'm gonna set everything and I'm gonna use the mystifying, mattifying translucent powder from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, also vegan and cruelty free. And now I'm going to start by adding the Lethal Cosmetics Unearthed Eyeshadow. Firstly, I'm just going to start with the lid only. I always like to bring the eyeshadow to the eye route in the corner, like the inner corner of the eye. I always hear like YouTube makeup gurus saying that we should not do that, but I think it looks great to be honest. Okay, so now that the eyeshadow is kind of done, I'm gonna add the Vinyl Cosmetics. Um, this is supposedly a eyeliner gel, but it works amazing as eyeshadow base. And I started with the lightest one because we're gonna add a metallic on top, though. So it's really strong, so I just take like a tiny bit. So now that this is done, I'm going to add the metallic shade on top and I'm going to use the Kat Von D uh, Satan Sinner palette and I'm going to use the eyeshadow called Immaculate which is this one. This one has to be my favorite, this and Stigmata. I love those. And again, I'm just going to apply it with the finger and as I was saying, the metallic shade really sticks to the cream and you get to blend it with the first eyeshadow like used as base. So now that I'm done applying it with the fingers, I'm just gonna blend it out with a really like large fluffy fucking brush, I guess. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna do a little trick for the eyeliner and I'm gonna use duct tape to mark the spot. And firstly, I take two bits of duct tape, put it on the skin to take the excess glue and then just mark the place. I know it looks weird, but it works. So I always use the H&M eyeliner, it's really good and it's not vegan but it's cruelty free and I'm just gonna draw the line on top of the duct tape. Okay, so now that the 
eyeliner is finally done. We take these stripes out and hope that it's not totally fucked up underneath. This side is okay. And this one is kind of okay too. Okay, so now that the top part is done, we're gonna go bottom. And I'm gonna start by adding again this eyeshadow on the bottom lash line part. And now that that part is on too, I'm gonna add the Body Shop gel liner and the waterline. Now to set the gel liner, I'm gonna top it with black eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the Sabbath one still from the Saint and Sinner palette. And now for eyebrows, I'm gonna use the H&M Brow Perfector in Espresso. Now onto the part that I hate the most, which is doing the lashes. So I'm gonna start by using whatever the fuck you call these. And then I'm gonna add some NYX Double XL mascara, which is one of my favorites. I don't even know if it's doing anything, to be honest. So now that I'm done with this part, I'm gonna add fake lashes, which I got from eBay because ain't nobody got time for that shit. So I'm gonna go for the shittiest there is. Oh my god. So I guess one is done. Yeah. I think I might have put it a bit too much on the outside, but I'm a fucking newbie, so like, let me do mistakes on my own. Oh no. So while this is like getting a bit dry, no need to say that the lashes are like synthetic. Don't buy lashes that have actual like fur please this side is always more complicated i'm just gonna add eyeliner on the inside now that the eyes are kind of poorly done i'm gonna do the rest of the face face is done. I'm gonna set it again with the mystifying, mattifying, translucent powder from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. So if you know me from my YouTube channel and the tutorials that I make, you should know that I do not use highlighter because I don't fucking like that shit. What I fucking love to use as highlighter is this white shade from the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Book, the first volume, they have two. And I'm gonna start by adding it on the cheeks. Now that the highlighter is done, I'm gonna start by contouring with this shade. For that, I'm gonna use a brush that looks like this. I don't know if it has a name or not. So now that this first layer is done, I'm gonna darken it a bit with the shade that's right beneath it, still with the same brush. And I'm adding a bit to the nose. So after this, I'm gonna add this darkest shade with the brush that looks like this. And I'm gonna add a lot of it. And now without picking up more, again, I'm gonna contour the nose. So now that the face is done, I'm gonna move on to the lips and I'm gonna use two of my favorite brands of makeup. I'm gonna start by using the Lethal Cosmetics Abyss Liquid Lipstick. It's a 
fucking black liquid lipstick and it's probably my favorite and if you know me you know that I love to overdraw the cupid's bow and then connect it to the natural line of the lips that's how I always do it And now that this shade is done, I'm going to add my favorite brand of lipsticks, which is Necromancy Cosmetica. And because I'm a weird fuck and I like to mix textures, I'm going to add more on top of this, mostly in the middle and not as much around. But it's going to give it a really cool finish. So I hope the camera picks up what I did. I really love to mix liquid and bullet lipsticks. I really like the texture of the bullet and then you can draw a perfect line with the liquid one. So this is the perfect combination. Putting together two of my favorite lipsticks and I'm really hoping you can see the texture from more because it really gives a nice finish and it kind of makes the volume pop out even more instead of just having a full matte lip and to top it off and for the sake of the video I'm gonna add the wig so after you put your wig cap on nice and tight it's time to put your wig and I've put up mine and this is how everything looks put together and I really love wearing black hair I think it's very striking and I think it goes so well with the look with the thin eyeliner and the black lips also i think this is a very rogan wolf look if you know what i mean uh if you wear their stuff i think this is the look to go because it fits everything so nicely so i hope you've enjoyed this first video hosted by the rogan wolf channel on youtube i hope you found it useful because i get so many questions from people asking me how do I do the eyeliner so this is how I do it and I hope some of you get to recreate this I would love to see how it looks on you because I think it looks pretty damn well and everybody because I'm a genius that's all about like that so yeah I'm kidding <laughs> it's like I always say all the time go big or go home so just fucking go big so I hope you found it useful if you had any doubts about the makeup or something like that and I'm really excited to see your reaction to this first posted video. Bye everybody, have a great night, day, wherever you are and see you somewhere else on other platforms, stuff like that. I'm always online so feel free to send me messages guys with your feedback. Bye everybody!